Field Day, CQ Field Day. This is November 4, Whiskey Golf Lima. Hi, I'm Paul White, November 4, Whiskey Golf Lima. Welcome to U Park, Upper Pinellas Amateur Radio Club, where we're holding Field Day. We're at a campground, and we've got a fantastic public location. A couple things we're doing is uh, we're a small station. We're only running about three, having a great time. We have a 40 meter dipole, 80 meter dipole, and up on the top we also have a tri band. So we are running a HF, and we're going to run two meters. John Bacetic, uh, Kilo Kilo 4 Echo Quebec Foxtrot. Uh, 2013 field day. Uh, what are we? We're a 4 Alpha, uh, West Central Florida. And uh, right now, right here, setting up my buddy pole for 15 meters. Um, got it all tuned up. About to put it up in the tree and see what kind of contacts we can get. Okay, my name is Gary and uh, my call sign is KJ4REV and we're working field day, uh, practice emergency communications and I'm using a mode called PSK uh, which uses a computer to talk over the radio. Uh, it's a really effective form of communication, especially in, in uh, in emergency situations because the signal gets through pretty well. The radio I'm using right now is a Yaesu FT450 and the antenna I'm using is a MFJ1795 ground mount vertical. I'm Doug K4CME and this is Field Day 2013 and uh, this is uh, an old Kenwood with uh, electronic logging and uh, we were working 20 meters, we're going to work all bands. Uh, this is a phone station, and then a little later we'll be doing a PSK with a rig blaster. What antenna is I've got the Gap Titan DX, it's right back there behind me. You can probably see it in the background. And uh, there is a wire, but I'm not using the wire. I'm uh, just going with the vertical. Whatever works. <laughs> The only Morse code I know is from the SOS Chris KQV and today is field day. Uh, radio amateurs uh, get together and we, we go out. The idea is to get away from your normal power mains and your homes and go out in the field as if it was an emergency situation, a disaster of some sort, and uh, see how well we can communicate with other locations. We use uh, generators or batteries. And uh, that's the whole point of it. It's it's an emergency exercise. Although you do score points for how many people you can contact, uh, we are in the West Central Florida section. That's one of the uh, parameters you exchange with the other operators that you talk to. And the group doing this, we have the call sign, a special event call sign for this, which is W4A Whiskey 4 Alpha, just for this event. And our group is made up of amateurs and. Club called the Alfalfa Group, uh, which stems from a call which is has a double A in it, Alpha Alpha. So people were saying Alpha Alpha, and it sounded like Alfalfa. So that's how we wound up being the Alfalfas. But mainly, uh, we come down here to Fort DeSoto every year. There's also a Winterfield Day, and. Um, 
We operate the radios, see uh, how well we operate under duress, if you can call this duress. And uh, we cook out and eat lots of good food, and that's field day in Florida for the alfalfas. What antenna are you running out there? This is the ground plane. This, this is oh, yeah. what I use. This is a 43 foot on, on, on antenna I built basically with an automatic tuner that goes to DC, goes to the coax, and is filtered out there. So the, the control for the remote tuner goes through the coax. Did you see this out there? I didn't, I yeah, I showed it. Okay. This is the ground plane with the radials. This is the tuner that control it. This is where the tuner goes in. Wait, this is where you connect your antenna. This is short. 80, and when you take them away, it's 160. To load this up, it's matched for the 43 feet. So. That's 43 feet up. That must be nice. Yeah. The echo link. Oh, that's your echo link now. No, that's neat. It's like so much an antenna. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. Some kind of fixture. I told you I were working on Wow. Yeah, it's the smallest echo link now. Yeah, when I've seen, huh? Mm -hmm. so I got a work, so he to quit. Yeah. Oh, so this is already a transceiver. Oh, that's that's the thing. Okay. And that's the power in filter. Oh, that's neat. That's the filter. Got you. Raspberry Pi computer. Right, right, right. The IRLP oh. card. Like why? The regulators. Mm -hmm. so Everything runs off 12, off 12 volts. Oh, that's I'm using this one as dual bander. Right. But we also use the UHF, the right. 888. Right. We take it out of the case and we put it here oh. inside. Oh. But this one I want it to be dual band so I can switch right. Right. two meter or right. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. <laughs> oh, so you're taking this off now? Huh? You take oh the radio. Okay. Uh, the only problem is going through security with that thing on the airport is. Like, oh yeah, I can see this. Oh brother. <laughs> oh man. This is W4 Alpha. We are four Alpha, uh, Western Central Florida. WCF over.